Shalom fam, this is Grammy. Uh, I am pulling up to my yard, you guys. So, I've been gone for a week. I'm so anxious to see what's going on with the garden. Let me back up. I'll be trying to get over. Yes, I'm going to run in here, put on my boots, use the bathroom, <laughs> put my hat on, get ready for the garden. We're going to see... What's going on in this garden, you guys? I've been gone a whole week. So what you're going to see for the first time, I'm going to see for the first time. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, family. Here we go. It's been a whole week. Well, five days. It's been five days since I've been gone. And the whole time I was watching the weather. So we did not get any rain. So here we go. Hey, family, my finger hit the button and it cut off and i was showing you the peppers and i pulled two squash but let me just show you real quick because i was trying to show you these peppers they're ready they are ready I, I i can't believe that my hand hit the button and you guys didn't get me pulling the squash but i'm gonna show it to you and we have plenty more peppers i even pulled this one while i thought the camera was running so there are plenty out here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull everything and then i'm gonna bring you all in to see my harvest and i thought i was recording when i pulled these two big massive squash off the squash plant let me show you and what I was saying was, what in the world am I going to do with that? Look, my hand won't even fit around, all the way around the top. And this thing weigh about, weighs about three pounds. And then there is the straight neck yellow squash. Look, huge. I was gone for a whole week and this is what happens. But they are in dire need of some rain, some water, you guys. And I'm getting squash here. I haven't reaped any harvest here. So it looks like I'm about to get some squash, you guys. And my Roma tomatoes, they're looking good. They're looking excellent. And let's go and see what the, the plums are doing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the plums, y'all. Look at the plums. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me. I think that one is too ripe. I see a bee. I see a bee around that one. Look at that. And look, I'm gonna pull them because, wait a minute, look at there. I'm gonna pull it because I'm afraid that the birds and the bees are gonna to get to it before it get too ripe. Yeah, and a lot of them are out here, you guys. They're ready. And let me bring this back in. That's my cucumbers, you guys. It is so dry. They are so thirsty. I can imagine after five days with no water, I was watching the forecast. Look, there's more squash there. Back there, that's more cucumbers. But look at the leaves, you guys. But when I come back to water, they'll pop up. They'll wake up. So I'm not, I'm not worried. It's just that I probably, oh my goodness, hold, hold up. I didn't even see this. Look at, look. Look. Another zucchini squash. Massive. Okay. And this is my yellow squash right here. And I just saw another one. It was nothing here before I left, you guys. Look. Look. Yes, and my cabbage. This was the smallest cabbage. I just pray there's no snakes out here. Let me look. This was my smallest cabbage. I'm going to be eating cabbage. And I harvest these lettuce before I left and took them with me. And they are back again. So look, it looked like none of those... um cabbage worms have not been getting to my lettuce so the butterflies they're working and look this is ready look look 
this is the width of my hand. I could really pull this one, you guys. That that one is ready. That is a nice size cabbage. Just like they are in the store. So I got cabbage. Okay, here we go. We threw some rotten sweet potatoes in here, you guys. Look, I'm, I keep telling you guys, do not throw away your rotting, rotten sweet potatoes, the ones that's all shriveled up. Look, sweet potato slips coming up. You don't have to start with slips. You can start with regular shriveled up rotten sweet potatoes. Look at that. We're going to have sweet potatoes. All right. Ooh. Look at my cantaloupe, you guys. Let me back it up. It's massive. My cantaloupe. Look at my cantaloupe vine. I'm going to come back and check it out to see if I see any cantaloupe. And these are my pole beans, you guys. Yes. Oh, look. One started vining on his own. Look at that. Yes. And let's look at the grapes. Please don't let them be no snakes out here. Please, Father. Look, look at my grapes, you guys. They are coming right along. Plenty of grapes. They probably was like, Mommy, if you water me, we'll give you more. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I'm sweating. I'm around. Because I don't want the dizziness. Okay, we just go over to the back of the yard. Let me look. Make sure there's no snakes around here. That um, water hose kind of scared me. That looked like a snake. Okay. Let's see what we got here, you guys. I don't see any signs of um, squash bug damage. But I have plenty out here to harvest. Those are too little. And they probably, yeah, they probably didn't do that well because it was so hot. And there was no water. So we definitely got to come back out and water but tomorrow i'll be out i'll be able to come and get these look at that and there's the other one right there yeah yes yes oh over here you got there's one there and then if you can see that one right there yeah they're out here okay I'm sweating, you guys. So my, I put my little net down. Oh my goodness, y'all gotta see my corn. I just looked up and I saw my corn. But before we get to the corn, hold up, let me back this thing up. Squash, that one's right there, it's ready. Yes. Are you ready to see this corn? But before we see this corn, look at, look at my cantaloupe. Look at my cantaloupe, you guys. Look at my cantaloupe. And see this right here. This right here, you guys, don't tell me that you have to dry out watermelon seeds. We had watermelon, and my husband bought the watermelon seeds out here, and he dropped six. And we have six watermelon plants coming up. Six. 100% germination, okay? Look at my cantaloupe. And here's some more. He dropped five in here. Wet seeds germinated, so they don't have to be dried out. So, look. Look, you guys. Look at my lettuce. I harvested them before I left. The lettuce are back. But look, look at my corn. Whew. Let me get over here to my corn. And it look like I'm seeing, look. I've never grown corn before, you guys. Is this what it's called, the silks? Look. Yes, look. I'm growing corn, you guys. <laughs> Grammy got corn. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Let's see what's going on down here. These are more squash plants. And here are the watermelons down here. They have begun to take off, too. But let me turn back around. The cantaloupe. Y'all, look at this cantaloupe. A bed of vines. And there are plenty of flowers and plenty of bees out here. But yeah, so the watermelon. Here's a okra plant. There's an okra plant. And look at my peas, you guys. Look at my peas. 
they already have buds on them and everything. Yes, look like I'm gonna have some peace. Let me back up so you can see the rest all the way down. That's an okra plant right here. As soon as I can get some water out here to water my babies. Mommy missed you. Mommy was thinking about you guys. And yeah, so, sorry about that. But look, everything is looking so good. I am gonna come back out here and harvest some things. My basil, I cut my basil a week ago. Look, it's time for basil cutting again, you guys. I'm going to have a whole container full of basil just this summer. All right, you guys. Whew. It is hot, but I don't think I can water it right now. I think I have to wait till the sun goes down, but let's see what the pears are doing. Okay. Look at the pear. They're getting big, you guys. Look. Look at them. Yes, I give all praises to the most high. Yes, you guys, I'm gonna come back after I harvest. I had to let you guys see my collard greens, you guys. Look at these collards. Look at them. I just had to bring you back. Okay, you guys, I said I was gonna bring you back once I harvest some of these vegetables. You guys, this is it, but they are is plenty of more out there it is hot i still have my cabbage my basil my mint and uh, my lettuce they still out there that i need to go out there and get and i did pull one of the plums they're not ready they still real hard but that purple one that i showed you that one was ready you guys if you like this video please hit like share and subscribe i really appreciate you guys i love you guys because you guys came on this journey with me and i really really appreciate you guys so i love you guys but guess what i love the most high more 